Hi guys! This will be a video for beginners, for all of you new Microtik users who have just recently got your first Microtik device. And in this video I want to tell you a little more about what router OS can do. And uh, it's not just uh, as easy as with some other devices where you um, can set up your Wi-Fi password and forget about it. Of course, you can still do that with the Microtik device, but there's a lot more, and I just want to give you a little glimpse in the world of possibilities. So uh, this might be a little series of videos, uh, I'm not sure yet, but in the first video, anyway, I will start with how to connect to your router. There are actually multiple ways how you can configure your router. It's uh, not only a web interface like with most other manufacturers. Um, Sure, we also have a web interface, and uh, uh, it, it, uh, it gives you the possibilities to set up nearly all of your settings. But in my personal opinion, uh, we have better options, and uh, let's see what we have. So yeah, first, let's uh, connect to our new router. So I have connected to my router, and uh, as you can see in the uh, paper leaflet that came with the uh, unit, you must uh, connect to the address 192.168.88.1. You can do that with the web browser, as with any device. It looks like I have, uh, I have connected to my router. This is uh, called QuickSet. QuickSet is the uh, first uh, screen that uh, will automatically appear when you connect to your device. and. Um, QuickSet gives you all kinds of uh, basic settings for first uh, initial configuration and uh, for most people it's enough that you set up your settings just here. Uh, but uh, I'll show you uh, some other ways how you can do that. And uh, this is especially um, uh, great if you want to learn more about the detailed settings uh, in your router. Um, then we can open the terminal application in your operating system and we can connect uh, with SSH, SSH 192.168.88.1 with uh, the standard uh, login name is admin, uh, but I strongly recommend you to create a new user with uh, administrative rights and then disable the admin user just for uh, security. So once you connect to this address, the same address as uh, in, your, uh, in your paper, the first time it takes uh, a few seconds and uh, let's type yes. So this gives you uh, access to the command line and this is where all the power lies. So if it's your first time seeing a command line of uh, router OS, it can be overwhelming. Basically start with uh, F1 and F1 opens uh, the uh, help with uh, some basic commands that you can type here. Uh, let's see, I can type IP tab, address tab. It, it auto-completes my commands. And then I can type print to see my IP addresses. I will not give you a full instruction how to configure a router using command line. Let's just leave it at that. For that we have uh, trainings, uh, documentation, and uh, all kinds of YouTube videos uh, from all kinds of great uh, Microtik uh, supporters. There's a big community of users that make uh, nice uh, tutorials. So, um, what else do we have? Uh, for uh, Windows, and uh, if you're um, advanced enough, you can also use Mac OS and Linux using Wine, but mostly for Windows, for now, we have uh, Winbox. Winbox uh, you can download from our webpage in the section Downloads. Uh, when you open uh, Winbox, you can go to the Neighbors tab and uh, uh, wait a few seconds and the Winbox uh, will automatically detect any nearby Microtik devices and it will show them here in this list. Uh, then you have to click on the IP address of, uh, of the router that you want to connect to. Uh, if for some reason your device has no configuration at all, it's been reset to or, or misconfigured or something, it's also possible to click on the MAC address. This is the uh, biggest advantage of Winbox over the other methods because it can also connect to devices that have no IP address configured. 
and then uh, the communication will happen over uh, the Mac layer. But I don't recommend doing this uh, uh, in other situations, uh, in day-to-day -day configuration, because um, this con communication is slower and not so reliable. So if your router does have an IP address as the standard routers out of the box, then click on the IP address. And then you must uh, enter your um, admin. And this device does not have a password, but many devices now uh, do have passwords right from the factory, though those passwords should be uh, on the sticker somewhere. If, if your router does not have a password set up, when you, when you connect for the first time, uh, immediately the first thing you should do is set up a password. And uh, newer router OS versions actually have uh, a pop-up that will remind you to set up an, uh, a password for your device. It's very important, even if you're using this device only inside your own uh, home, and uh, mm, still uh, immediately set up some strong password. And as I said before, also create a new user and set up a username. Uh, and then disable the admin user. Uh, all of these suggestions uh, you can uh, you can actually follow uh, our documentation. If you go to our documentation, help.microdig.com slash docs. In the documentation, we have a nice uh, instruction about uh, securing your uh, first Microdig device. There are some great tips in there, which you should uh, follow. So uh, what did we look at? We looked at WebFig, uh, Winbox, and uh, SSH. There's also Telnet, if your operating system has Telnet, but that's not secure, and uh, I suggest using SSH. Uh, also, we have API. Uh, API is for um, if you want to uh, set up some kind of automation or maybe even create your own management uh, interface. Uh, for example, you're, maybe you're a developer and you want to set up uh, some kind of uh, utility to set up uh, basic uh, settings in your Microtech router, you could use our router OS API. And this allows your own custom program to communicate with a Microtech router. Also, we have uh, TR069. This is a standard protocol used by many larger telecommunications companies. Uh, our own uh, bigger ISPs use this for mass configuration of, the, of their devices. So. Mm, you can even actually set up some kind of uh, customer uh, web page uh, where your users uh, can log in to your own uh, customer portal. And uh, they, n not only they could see their usage and uh, pay their bills, but using the TR069 technology, you can uh, send commands to the u uh, to the router that you have provided to your uh, end users and um, send this router some kind of configuration settings so for example um, maybe uh, maybe the customer does not want to, to configure his router with some kind of winbox utility they could go into your isp.com log into their customer uh, web page and then they will see you have uh, in your account registered one one router, one Wi-Fi router for your home, and they could set up the password there. They could set up, I want my home Wi-Fi name to be this and my home Wi-Fi password to be that. And this, was go uh, this, this can then be sent from the ISP central, uh, uh, central management server to, to this uh, specific customer's home router, and, and uh, they, co they could configure their device this way. What else? We also have uh, a application for iPhones and Androids. Um, we actually have uh, two applications now. One is the regular Microtik app uh, that you can uh, use to uh, configure nearly all aspects uh, and all configuration uh, settings. Uh, that's the regular Microtik app. And uh, for Androids, we also have a Microtik Home, and this is also going to be released soon for iPhones. And the Home app only has a very, very minimal set of settings and it has a very nice wizard mode where even uh, no, not advanced users can easily set up their Wi-Fi password. So there's all kinds of uh, methods and ways to connect to your devices. So if you're a beginner, uh, I actually don't suggest you use the web interface in your browser. It doesn't work so well uh, in, in phones and actually we are 
We suggest you use our uh, smartphone apps uh, for that. And uh, if you're a Windows user, I strongly suggest you use uh, Winbox uh, utility instead. So uh, you can download it from our web page. And um, not only does it uh, work faster and more reliable uh, than the web interface, uh, well, it's, uh, it's kind of easier to, to see everything and you can arrange uh, um, different uh, settings uh, with these uh, internal windows. And um, you can, you can uh, see and monitor stuff uh, side by side. And the web interface is a little bit behind in that regard, it, it can be harder to read settings. Uh, yeah, speaking about Winbox, we're actually working on a Mac OS native version as well, but I can't promise when that will uh, happen. But we are we, we do hear you and we, we are actually looking into that. But uh, well, that's something to look forward to in the future. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.